welcome to Scene Through Glass, and I think I've always wanted to film an intro this way. Welcome to Lorbeck Luxury Cars in Melbourne. Uh, these guys, for my UK viewers, are kind of like the Joe Macari of Melbourne, but they are fundamentally one of the biggest and most impressive dealerships I think I've ever been to, and they have very kindly offered to host a meetup for me. I, and I, all these meetups I'm doing, I don't know what's happened to my ego, but it's exploded, uh, and unbelievably, uh, we've got a whole evening ahead of, yeah, sort of evening cars and coffee, I suppose. Tons of cars have already showed up. There are amazing cars in the dealership below me. I don't really know how the evening's gonna pan out. Apparently there's a drive as well, and I'm just gonna try and capture as much of it as possible because finally, it's time to indulge in some supercars for Drive the World. Can you see it? Oh, look at that. What a colour. I don't even think that's Irish green. Is it Irish green? Maybe it is. It's hard to tell here because I'm looking through two, uh, two big glass windows, so the colour might not be coming out properly. But we are looking at a 911 with... Oh, and the, oh, we're going Porsche crazy, people! It's kicking off! But yes, green Porsches for the win. This is absolutely stunning. Well, Melbourne's a special city and we love our cars. A little bit more than every other city in Australia. Is that right? Are we in neutral? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check us the camera, check us the camera. Oh mate, no, you're yeah, absolutely, man. you're mad man. <laughs> this is crazy. Wow. Whoa, yeah, go again, go again. Yes, yes. There is one car that I have to show you, which is, ladies and gentlemen, a 360 with, don't even start, the wheels, the tyre writing, the seats, and the challenge grill. Oh my god, and carbon fibre in the engine bay. It is not manual, but it is still incredible. Look at all this tan here on the dash. Oh my god, what an absolute hero. Living life as it should be lived, right next to another absolutely mental 360. So, oh, and there's a bike on a hurricane. Oh my god. Well, Melbourne, you're incredible. Uh, Lorbeck, oh my god, to see that LT driving off in the sunset. I've come back upstairs to the Bon Lair with some french fries just to take two seconds time out. I haven't filmed a thing. I mean, there's a ton of B-roll that you've probably seen, but I didn't have a chance to walk around and talk about any of the cars because I've been meeting so many amazing people from the Melbourne area. Proper petrol head scene here, but a few things that popped out in front of me. There's two GT2 RSs, a white one and a silver one. Super cool to see. The owner of the white car, that's his first ever Porsche. He's put 4,000 kilometers on the clock already. Um, and 675 LT with the carbon bonnet. Uh, super cool to see again. Some Lambos, that 360, my 360. Anyway, I'm gonna keep eating some chips and then go back downstairs. But in half an hour's time, We've got a cruise, like a drive, back into town with a number of cars. Some guys waving me down on the dealership floor. So hopefully I'll be able to film that, because otherwise this video's a bit dead, but... Supercar content's back, guys. It's maybe not in the way that you were hoping. But yeah, Lorbeck, wow. Mm -hmm. Chips, wow. Here is one of the two GT2 RSs that's turned up and look at this number plate. Australian number plate game is strong. GT2 991, that is so Jumpy. freaking baller. Hey. Uh, but yeah, absolutely stunning hey, to see. This, this is what we want. <laughs> <laughs> right here, hold on a sec. That's it. Oh, there's stuff hey, I'll kicking give, off I'll, there. I'll give, I'll give you some likes for that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is your car? Yeah. It's absolutely stunning, yeah. but the plate is probably the best thing about it. You sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
That's clean. So wait, what year would this car be? Uh, this is a 1970. 1970, and it's now running 850. 820, 820. 820. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's totally different. That's like a whole other car. Yeah. Oh my lord. It must be an absolute animal. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty pretty hard to keep it straight. How long have you been working on it? We bought it uh, nearly four years ago. Whoa. No, it never ends on these kind of cars. Yeah. You're always doing something. <laughs> it's beautiful. The color is spectacular, <laughs> the interior, but this, this engine bay is lovely. All of its original paint, except for the bonnet, because it's a roof scoop, but everything else is all original paint on it. Yeah, you have to see this roof scoop. is so aggressive and mean. It literally looks yeah, like an elephant put, trunk. Put it down. Go on the top. And see how yeah. big they are. Do you drive it as well, or just your dad? Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I can only imagine. I mean, let's check out the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the tires. Tire, look at the tires on the rear. So to handle that. So they run. They're, yeah, they run two seven fives. Wow. Um, and that's it. You can jump in it if you. Oh want. my god! Look at all your all your different gears and clocks and gauges and dude, this thing is so cool. Absolutely <laughs> stunning. Right? And the best part of it is it's uh, it's, it's nineteen seventy, so no rear seatbelts. <laughs> With 820 horsepower! Uh, oh yeah! <laughs> Who gets in this thing? And a sun blind, which is also very important. That's, that's uh, Australians call them Venetians. Okay. <laughs> but every Aussie, every, every Aussie muscle car needs to have one. Wow, yeah. dude, thank you so much for showing <laughs> that's me right. this. This is very, Appreciate very cool. It, Good to see you again. Good to see you. We're now headed out on a big drive back towards the centre of town. I'm going to be joined by Harry from Lawbeck, the guys who very kindly hosted this entire event. Right in front of me, I'm looking at two GT2 RSs, an AMG GTR, a Lamborghini Aventador, a Testarossa, I've got a Huracan with a bike on it. This is going to be mad. Harry, I don't know if you're actually in my shot. <laughs> I'm right. hitting the GoPro all the way over here, but Harry is now sat next to me. You might be able to see the Hello. side of his face. Um, he's going to be helping direct me. Thank you for thank all you for coming best, down. Mate, all the best. Cheers, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I put this GoPro here because I just want to be able to react to what is going on. Um, see you guys. Thank you for coming. Uh, no, see you later. Right. We're oh, we're turning right. Sorry, that's all yeah. good. So come here often. <laughs> um, It has felt like such a long time since I've been in like a big supercar convoy. I'm getting like really nervous anticipation. Um, obviously the first few weeks of Drive the World have been pretty like slow paced, been filming some cool classics and stuff, but now we've got a Mercy Lago, there's a Ventador's revving, and also I think a 650 horsepower 570S has just turned up, which is, yeah. Hey mate. I don't know, we're going. We're, we're going, going, we're going. Let's rock and roll kids. Wow, oh, the view, follows. the view in my mirror. Here's nuts. That 2RS looks so cool. And can you believe that's his first Porsche? <laughs> What an absolute G! Most people sit there having to buy about 12 718 Caymans to be able to get a GT3 slot or a GT4 slot. This guy's just gone, nah, I want a 2 RS and just went and bought one. So I have to applaud him. He's done like four and a half thousand kilometers in it already and yeah, it just looks amazing. The sun is setting. We've just gone over some, what bridge was that? The Westgate Bridge. No the thing. Westgate Gate Bridge. It had lots of Australian flags on it. Yep. And uh, yeah, we're bunching the car together now and it's just, oh, here comes a super legera. Ah, oh, this is so cool. So this is my first time seeing like a heavily tuned 570S. I know it's a big thing in America, but right here, 670, I think we'll ask the owner in a second exactly how much horsepower. It's got a massive wing on it. He's actually just ordered about to take delivery of a 600 LT, and he's like, it might actually be slower than my current car, but they're such tunable cars. And now in the UK, you can get a secondhand 570S for like 100 grand. They are just the bargains of the century, and this one looks super cool. I realize you probably can't see it because it's, it's over there, but uh, it looks A-OK. -okay. Pretty special place to call an end to our day. Parked up, I don't know if you can see Melbourne in the background, but 
This is a stunning view and what an epic drive that was. I mean, it, it was a cruise, but as I kind of mentioned, just exciting to be back in a big supercar convoy. Uh, we had Aventador's revving, GT2 RSs, mad tuned McLaren 570 as I showed you. And yeah, it's just been an epic day. Always mad, oh, oh, my voice, always, always mad to try and film a video at these kind of meetups. But I wanted to bring back some supercar content to the channel. There's a lot more coming tomorrow. I'm doing something very exciting with a very iconic supercar. But I hope you've enjoyed kind of a look around Lorbex today. Uh, a chance to uh, yeah see some of the cars and the sights of Melbourne. So give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come. There we go. The only thing with this is reverse is over and up. Okay. And first is also over, over and, and up. up. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, okay. You go, you'll feel it. Whoa, 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 either way. <laughs> well, I was trying. I, mean, I don't think maybe I haven't driven an air cool, but anyway, this is an awesome experience.